Hey guys, welcome back. It's Lindsay, the Candle Whisperer, and today the scent that we are going to be focusing on is, drum roll, pumpkin. I'm so excited. It's October, finally. I literally feel like I spend my year waiting for October to just happen again. It sounds so cliche, but honestly, it really is one of my favorite favorite candle scents and there's so many to choose from it was so hard if I thought that it would be acceptable to do like a five hour YouTube video <laughs> and that um, anybody would actually sit through it I honestly probably would have reviewed like easily 20 different brands but I narrowed it down to three um, oh, here comes my dog every time. I swear, it's like he knows, he knows. Hmm, he's probably hungry. Here you go, my Good boy. So, it's October, I have on my plaid, my bow. More of like a wine colored lip. I'm feeling festive and I'm ready to go. Oh, and I know that you can't see this, but I have my decor. This is sitting on my table. I even got my salt and pepper shakers. And I'm ready. So similarly to my first video, I wanted to pick three different brands that I really love and that are all different price points because everybody should be able to enjoy candles. So I'm again gonna start with the lowest price point, which is similarly to last time, Bath and Body Works. A fuzz. So these are normally about $24.50. Um, and like I said, they do sales all the time. Um, sometimes they do $10 off, so it's only like about $14, or you could do two for the price of one, so you're basically um, you're only paying a little over 12 bucks for each, which is really awesome. So the candle that I chose from Bath & Body Works is called White Pumpkin. And first of all, I just think the packaging is honestly so pretty. See, it's got that really pretty gold kind of like reflective wrap, little gold <laughs> Really? So this one is called White Pumpkin. And oh, my. I think it's just time that he makes an appearance because obviously he's feeling a little bit antsy. Um, so I might just have him on my lap for a bit. This is Jitsu. Jitsu, say hi. He's my delightful little four legged child. He's a pug, if you couldn't tell. Um, and he's my everything. And I'm not just saying this, one of his favorite toys is shaped like a pumpkin. Coincidence? I think not. I'm gonna read the notes. White pumpkin, autumn spice blend, ground cinnamon and essential oils. Again, those essential oils, they just always love to put those in there. I don't really know exactly what they are, but I ain't mad at it. Do you like that? It's just so good. I wish I knew what the essential oils were because I do feel like they're coming through. But what I love about this, I feel like Bath & Body Works has a reputation sometimes for their scents being so strong. And a lot of times they are, don't get me wrong, but I feel like this is such a beautiful pumpkin scent. Like it's really not the type that is like artificial smelling, if that makes sense. It's really light. I'm smelling something. Okay. Ah, uh, Savinia. Um, I think whatever that autumn spice blend is is definitely coming through. And the cinnamon isn't too intense. It's not like a really, really heavy cinnamon scent. Um, it's just really, really blending nicely with the pumpkin, the general autumn spice, um, and whatever those special essential oils are. Handy dandy, gonna cut. 
This is a three wick. I always love their three wicks. I feel like they burn for a nice amount of time. I even have my orange little match for October. Mmm, you guys, it's so good. I love that noise. I'm going to set this aside and let it burn. It's really pretty subtle in, in a really good way. So again, while that technically retails for over 24, I almost, I don't ever buy them when they're 24. I always do either when it's two candles for 24 or $10 off. And they do them all the time. So the next one is Anthropology. All hail. I'm obsessed with Anthro. Oh my God, I mean, their decor, their candles, the Capri Blue for Anthropology. it's just so, all of their scents are so good, but I get so excited because I used to only really know like their volcano scent, like when I was much younger. And then I feel like um, over the years, they just started coming out with so many more and the packaging, the actual candle holder, I swear, every year it gets prettier. They do like some type of new mercury glass or something and this copper toned mercury glass is everything. These retail for 32, um, but I also tried to get this when it was a sale. I think they had like all fall candles were 20% off or something. Um, so it wound up coming out to under 30, 20 something dollars. So this one is called Pumpkin and Clove. And even the top has this really beautiful, almost leafy embossed design. And then on the sides, it says pumpkin clove. Oh my God. It's warmer than the first one. It's like, Oh gosh, in the best way, it kind of smells like something's baking. And I, I know that that is like not always a good, not always a good thing um, because it can be like, again, artificial smelling or um, I don't know, like too sweet, but it's not. It just honestly, it honestly just, smells like warm pumpkin baking in the oven. Okay, the notes. Okay, so I don't actually see any notes, but that's fine. Um, it's pumpkin and clove. I kind of want to Google though, if there are notes. Let's find out. Anthropology pumpkin clove candle. Oh my God. Ooh, okay. They actually have a really nice description here. So I'm on the Anthropology website and I'm just gonna read it. Um, it says, treat yourself or a loved one to Capri Blue's beloved pumpkin spiced scent. It's a cozy, comforting choice that's perfectly suited for the harvest season. I couldn't agree more. The scent of creamy, buttery, buttery pumpkin with a touch of orange zest wrapped within a savory vanilla and cinnamon base. Okay, so this totally makes sense. I feel like, that sort of buttery pumpkin and savory vanilla is what's making this kind of smell almost like something's baking. And again, I'm really pleasantly surprised because I normally don't love when something smells like food. Like I don't like candles that smell like birthday cake or cupcakes or anything like that. Um, I usually prefer it to smell a little bit more natural and realistic, so I'm actually kind of excited because anytime I do wind up baking something, I'm so obsessed with the smell and I have thought to myself, like, God, I wish I could just make it smell like this in my house all season, but obviously I'm not gonna bake every day because I'm not Martha Stewart, unfortunately. But um, yeah, I just think it's really nice to have found a candle that kind of does mimic that like warm vanilla pumpkin pie kind of scent. Um, without it being kind of gross, let's be honest. Ooh, this is like a very tall wick. 
So this is um, just a single wick, but I find that these candles last a very long time. They burn slowly, which I love. And any time that you purchase a candle, especially if you're on a website or in a store where one brand has the same scent, but like different types of candle holders, um, like different shapes, different heights, different wick amounts, it's really important to read the burn time um, because sometimes you might be paying more for one that actually burns less hours. It's important to look at that. Or you could be like me and just pretty much base it on the actual candle holder because I care quite a bit about that. So that's Pumpkin Clove from Anthropology by Capri Blue. So this next one I am particularly excited about because it's from a brand called Homesick and the scent is pumpkin picking. And on the top it says where the heart is. I don't know if you remember in my first video I had said that there was a fourth candle that was supposed to arrive and it didn't come in time so I wasn't able to feature it and it was actually the apple orchard candle from Homesick. I love this brand for several reasons. I've said this before, but to me, my favorite types of candles are ones that either evoke a memory and create some essence of nostalgia, or they create such a specific vision in my mind that they make me want to go do something. If it's not something that I'm nostalgic for that I've done in the past, it's something that I just immediately, I'm like, oh my God, I have to do that. Um, and I feel like homesick brand has pretty much based their whole company off of that. They have, you need to check them out. They have such creative scents, um, but they really, really do focus on taking people home. If you live in a new state or you moved to another country, they have candles for every single state. They even have candles for different regions of certain states like for me, I love the upstate New York one as well as the New York City one, um, the Long Island one, the I love the Northern California one. It's places that mean a lot to me um, and it's really, really cool and they have really, really great descriptions and I also just absolutely love their packaging. I think it is so cute and so pretty. And these um, retail, I think for about 34 to 36, Six. I'm blanking on exactly how much. Um, I know it's like 30 something, so it's not that different actually than the Anthropology one, but I do find that I'm able to find the Anthropology candles on sale more often than these ones. Um, and I bought this through a boutique that sells them, but they have an amazing website and a lot of their scents are also sold on Bloomingdale's. Um, but they also have really, really great detailed descriptions of the scents, so I'm gonna read that now. Okay, so it's called Pumpkin Picking. And the top notes, fancy, the top notes are pumpkin and nutmeg, love. The mid notes are ginger, cinnamon, and clove. And then the base notes are vanilla, tonka bean, and sugar. That's really unique and super thoughtful. I feel like that's a lot, like I don't, first of all, I rarely see a candle brand that like actually breaks it down between the various um, like top mid base notes. Um, but yeah, I just feel like they're really thoughtful with their scents and the way that they kind of combine different spices. And it also has a really lovely description. Vibrant leaves welcoming hayrides and the search for the perfect pumpkin. A cool fall day with hot apple cider and pumpkin spice. God, they just nail it. Like, I feel like they just do such a good job. Like, this is what candles are for. That whole description right there, like, that is why I want my home to smell like the season because of all of those visions that it just created for me. It's just, it's joyful. It's, I don't know, I just think it's really, really lovely. Okay, and I haven't smelled this yet. Ooh, it's like tall. Pumpkin picking. 
very just like clean modern packaging okay let's see It's actually, considering the different scents that are in there, let's see, we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. You have eight different notes in this candle. It's actually really light. Like, it's not that strong. I almost wish it were a little bit stronger. But it's so, it's, it is for sure more complex than the other two. Like I can definitely tell that there are many more scents that have gone into this than to the others. It's got lipstick on it. I feel like the first two are a little bit more straightforward in terms of their scents. Um, this one is a bit more complex. Maybe it's better actually that it's a little bit lighter because there's so much in here. Like so, I mean, between the ginger, the tonka bean, there's so much. I feel like um, maybe if they were to make them all really strong, it could be a little bit overwhelming. Mm. I feel like out of the three, it's a bit more similar to the pumpkin clove from um, Capri Blue. Probably the clove coming through. Okay, I actually think the nutmeg is what I'm noticing and that's just like awesome. I'm really excited to see how this one burns. Also, and I mentioned this in my first video, I really like burning multiple candles at once, especially because I have so many. <laughs> if I only burned one candle at a time, it would take me far, whoa. I almost just burnt my hand. It would take me far too long to get through all of my candles honestly. So I really like when I can burn multiple candles at once. So when I do have one that is really light and not as fragrant as some others, um, it's not a bad thing because I can always light it with one that's stronger and they can kind of balance each other out. They're so pretty. I don't know that I can do the uh, the triple lift in this one. We've got the white pumpkin from Bath and Body Works. I'm gonna be honest with you. I don't know like how different white pumpkin smells from a classic orange pumpkin, but um, it does smell different. Something about it, like the pumpkin base of that one, actually really does smell different than these. Oh, so good. This one smells the most to me like pumpkin pie. I mean, I literally lit this two seconds ago, but yeah, for sure this one is the lightest. Um, so because of that, I would probably burn these two together. Um, and then the white pumpkin is, I mean, it's beautiful on its own. Honestly, out of the three, the Pumpkin Clove by Capri Blue is for sure like the most pumpkin-y. So I feel like whichever other one I light, whether it's Pumpkin Picking from Homesick or White Pumpkin from Bath and Body Works, I will probably light it with the Pumpkin and Clove from Cap Capri Blue. But I don't think that I'll light either of these by themselves, and I don't think that I'll light them together. I don't think that either one is strong enough to, like, fill the room on its own. So I'm really excited about this one because I feel like it's kind of a nice base. Um, and then I can use these to kind of, like, add some additional lighter notes just in case the smell of this one gets a little bit too strong. But I don't think it will. Well... Thanks again for visiting my channel and um, don't forget to subscribe 
And oh, I think I forgot to mention that last time I created an Instagram. There's not a ton on it yet, but it's the Candle Whisperer. It's pretty straightforward. Um, but yeah, I'd love for you to like the video if you liked it. Um, subscribe and then definitely comment below. I'm always open to suggestions for other candle scents from other companies. Um, if you have any questions, like if there's maybe things about the candles that I'm not talking about that you wish I was talking about, or um, just reviews if you wind up buying any of these, um, and just what your thoughts are. So thanks again, happy fall, happy October. I hope you all go out and buy at least one of these so your home can smell as amazing as mine does right now. And I can't wait to see you in my next video. Bye.